But we begin with teen violence in the East Valley. Several assaults are under investigation across neighboring law enforcement agencies, including Gilbert, where the police chief just announced another arrest tonight. That's right. Meantime, we are hearing from one teen who, according to court documents, was attacked with brass knuckles. ABC 15's Ashley Holden has our top story. What started as a typical night for Connor Jarnigan at the Gilbert In-N-Out Burger in December of 2022 quickly took a turn. We noticed a group of about 10 to 12 kids approaching us, and at first they were really nice. But eventually, Connor says they demanded money, even trying to get in his car. And when I turned around to grab my keys, that's when he punched me in the back of the head with brass knuckles. And luckily, I didn't get knocked out. When he came home, I mean, his sweater was soaked in blood. The picture that we shared with you was after the um, ER team or the medical team cleaned him up. Connor ultimately able to get away, but spending hours in the hospital. Doctors telling him and his family he was lucky. I think it was kind of a God thing that I wasn't hit there because an inch to the left that could have been killed or paralyzed. So I'm very thankful that that didn't happen. Court documents obtained by ABC 15 say witnesses saw the same teen arrested for Connor's attack, assaulting another teen with brass knuckles just weeks before. How have you guys moved forward as a family? Um, we had some upstander teens in the community who came forward with evidence to help in Connor's case and to identify the attacker. So we were able to prosecute um, in juvenile court. Connor's mom, Stephanie, says that has helped with closure. Her son credits his faith, both now turning their focus to Connor's desire to spark change. We were just thinking for a while and we realized like brass knuckles have no place in our community. Late last year, Connor started writing state lawmakers, proposing a ban or limit on brass knuckles in Arizona. Senator Kavanaugh has reached out to us and he's willing to work with us to create um, a law to ban or restrict brass knuckles. State Senator John Kavanaugh's office confirming they are working on language for a bill focusing on brass knuckles. To see a bill, to see a new law, you know, potentially passed, how much would that mean to both of you? If we can do a little bit of good out of a bad situation, and that's really all we want to do is kind of find some light to a dark place we're in right now. And we will be following up with State Senator Kavanaugh on Wednesday tomorrow. As for tonight, we were also at the Gilbert Town Council meeting to hear from their new subcommittee focusing on teen violence. We were here to hear them give their first update. Lots of discussion about a survey that they would like to give to teens through the schools. One council member saying he's already spoke with several district superintendents. As Vice Mayor mentioned, um, we are asking the town to hire a company to uh, come up with a, a survey um, about around teen violence, around their experiences, because we haven't heard from the kids. And that's the audience that we need to hear from. And tonight, the council, they didn't take any action or votes in regards to this update that we heard. They did ask the three group members of that subcommittee to return with some more information on things like costs when it involves that survey. We also heard from the police chief. He was talking about an additional arrest that they say was made today in regards to teen violence. We're working to get some more information on that arrest. The police chief also saying that their department will be holding another press conference later this week. Back to you. Thank you, Ashley.